Hello guys and welcome to episode 36 of my Total War Rome 2 playthrough playing as Assassinids on very hard difficulty and today we're moving on after previously taking Mediolanum and Coria. We had some really epic battles last episode so I hope that continues against Gallic Rome. Uh, we will have uh, the Fury of Erethragna come down and attack Aretium soon as well. He's going to be getting his replenishment this turn though. Uh, the Watchmen up north, they are sort of waiting to attack the Vandalai, I think. I think that's what I was going to try and do after freeing up Avengers First Cavalry and the executives of the Fire of Great Purpose. But I won't if I don't have to, that's the thing. Uh, there's no point in going to war with people that I don't need to be at war with. Let's just check their relations with us. They will be pretty low, I think. But if it's mainly due to expansionism, then yeah, we should be fine. We've got trespasses against them as well. Mm, they might end up declaring war on me. It might be worth just taking them out, but we've got to get rid of the Makamani first, so I guess we're just going to chill for now. That's absolutely fine. Um, so the Watchmen can... Maybe stay where they are. Maybe they can move on Caladunum. Just go and have a look, actually. I mean, why not? We've already trespassed against them once or twice. Let's do it. Let's just attack them. Alright. That'll do. <laughs> Should we start off with a battle today, guys? I feel like it's going to be a bit of a massacre if we go into this one. My elephants should just be able to run them all over. We also have the uh, Pushtig band, the Canafrax, but they're not going to work particularly well in a settlement. Let's just auto resolve this one, I think, unless the remaining force is too low. Uh, we'll, we'll go for it. Auto resolve. I feel like it would be a bit tedious to just play that out. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and raise that and uh, convert it to a lead mine. That's actually going to give us extra sanitation in all regions and public order per turn. Sanitation in all provinces. Okay. Not sure why lead does that. Why it improves sanitation. You Surely a mine would decrease sanitation. Unless I'm missing what they use lead for back in the day. I don't know. Anyway, um, here we are going to get ourselves the trading post and the nomad camps. Okay. And next turn we'll move on to um, Arsenium and take that. Okay. That just gives that army something to do anyway. Sorry I didn't play it out, but uh, it just seemed a bit uh, tedious to me. We do have another army heading up here, so let's maybe get the Heroes Among Men, first of all, upgraded. Uh, we can maybe upgrade a few of the units here. And then sort of head towards uh, Budagis. I think that would be a, a decent idea with that army. Just in case uh, the Avengers First Cavalry just keeps getting hit by assault units. Then we have the children of Pani who are coming across to uh, Sicily, so that should be a good fun. We have the first men able to attack Actal. Okay, and honestly I think what I might do is just encircle them and if they attack me then fine, if not we'll just leave that siege there, that's fine. Uh, because we will surrender them in three turns. Uh, the executives of the Fire of Great Purpose, again, are just going to stay where they are. So that is all of the armies moved. That's odd. Okay, I thought I had more to do in this turn than I actually did. But uh, one thing we will do is upgrade our champion here. Get the 18% campaign map movement range. That's really, really nice, actually. Um, really, really helpful in our armies, for sure. Um, that is... Let's have a look at Aretium, see if there's an army here. I don't think there will be. And if there's not, we'll just continue down to the bottom of Italy. Maybe there's armies further down, although I expect them to be in Gaul as opposed to in Italy. But uh, we shall find out, I'm sure, soon enough. 
All right, uh, time for my guys who are converting culture to move on, I think. Uh, we do have relatively low culture in some of these provinces, like Dacia. We only have 50%. So let's go ahead and move into Dacia. We'll move uh, Sogdians on towards uh, Illyricium. Uh, we'll go towards that. Um, Cartier can then come up as well. And Arsimes has basically finished uh, Alexandria anyway. There is Egyptian rebels forming, which is fantastic, so hopefully they'll take back Alexandria. That's what we've got to hope for, because then we can attack uh, the Egyptian rebels after they've captured it and take that for ourselves. Okay, time to end the turn. Let's move on to the next one. Our research is also finished in the next turn, which is fantastic. See what Gallic Rome do. See if they have any armies. Their spirits tell us close that enough we should by. offer you gold. The Makamani. <laughs> the spirits telling you to give us gold. Interesting. Noble death. Oh dear. One of my dudes being killed. I've never watched this before, so. Let's just watch it. Dang nabbit. Who died, I wonder? Somebody got assassinated, I'm sure. Maybe it was Avengers First Cavalry here. They lost their leader. I think it was indeed, actually. <laughs> That's savage. So let's just jump into this battle with the Markamani. Maybe we should have taken the peace treaty after all. Avengers First Cavalry slowly but surely being picked apart. Do not panic! Form up your dog! Okay. Time to just get my infantry line into place. You need to get my pushtig ban off to the side. Break off the Dalamites to the right. I'm going to keep my horsemen behind my front line for now. I have the Savarans go with the pushtig ban. Let's go. That should be fine. Our general is under attack. Oh my, an archer fire then. Malay infantry at the ready. Armored horsemen. It's a lot of archers. Advance at speed. Riders at the double. Pushing back, get away. At the ready. Advance at speed. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Okay, I think it's just time to group my dudes up. I will put them into formation group and I'll charge them. Because that way I can get my Japan men into range of their range forces. Let's have these push stick band break off. Right, we've got rid of those Germanic hunters as well, which is good. Let's get these Pushtig ban out of there. Let the Savaran finish them off. Come on, chaps, break off. You got heavy armored horses, for God's sake. You shouldn't get stuck. Right. Right, some of our infantry are getting hit pretty hard. Uh, time for us to wheel back, I think, into these guys. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Shamanic hunters got destroyed. Charge into the Germanic band. Good. At least we're sort of crushing units out on the flanks. Even if our main force line has just disintegrated. 
I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. I think most of my infantry is just straight up dead. Uh, what about my Dalamite calf? They should actually be engaging somewhere. Maybe they can sweep round and kill off these hunters. I should have been doing that straight away. Who's in here? Oh wow, Dalamite's just in the middle of nowhere. Okay, cool. Whatever. Oh boy. That was a hell of a charge. Come into the back of those chaps as well. Good. Let's break off Our my flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Line up the push dig ban. Good. So it looks like we're just going to be playing around cavalry for the most part. Uh, a lot of my archers, arch cav, have been taken out by enemy archers here. Let's make sure that we're getting our charges underway into their Germanic hurlers and Germanic hunters. And we'll continue to swing round and try and help out some of these engagements. I might have one come this way and one go round, like so. Okay, let's go back to the Pushtig ban as well. And they're going to want to be charging down the Germanic ban there. Good. Dalamite's caught on to the cab there, which is nice. Let's get those ones round. These ones can come into the back of the Germanic band. Good. What are your orders? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Germanic band there almost dead. I think it's time for us to charge their general. Kill off these Germanic curlers with our cab there. And these guys orders? helped win, which was nice. We are at your Charge into the back cavalry. of that melee. For glory. Good. Need to make sure those guys don't actually engage in melee, that's bad. Alright, we smash those guys. That's good. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Just go straight into these Wodenaz spears. Get the Trumple bonus going as well. Yeah, they got absolutely wrecked. Right, I need to probably break off from that. Let the Zavaran charge them. Good, okay. Time to break off my cav, especially the ones under fire. I uh, need to have these ones run down those Germanic curlers. And these two units can maybe try and take care of that Germanic band. I'll have one come up and take care of that. Uh, the other unit, where are they? They're in the back line here. And go straight into those Germanic curlers, that's fine. Okay, we've almost killed off the... Wooden as spears, Germanic band, just kind of face tanking my cavalry here, so let's maybe break off, at least with the push dig van. I'll let the Savaran just keep fighting, I think. Melee cavalry! Good. Cavalry! We await your orders! We await your orders! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, those guys are dead anyway. We'll have the Dalamites come back and attack the Germanic curlers. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Alright, time for the Zavarans to leave. Time for us to charge back in again. The push Dig Ben. A general surely got killed in that charge. The battle is turning in our favour. 
I don't even know. We have all of their units on the run now, though. And job done. Nice. Okay, not bad. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I knew eventually this would happen. <laughs> like, Avengers vs. Cavalry just kept getting hit by the agent actions, and... It was inevitable that they would end up getting ambushed by a big army of the Makamani. So, there we go. Let's uh, quit the battle there for a close victory. 815 losses for ourselves, quite a lot. But I don't think we lost any units, which is nice. If I can keep the army as intact as possible, we can then recruit ourselves a new general. 400 kills for one of my push dig bands there, that's pretty damn nice. Well, it was 386 to be more precise, but still. So we'll take them as slaves. Very nice. So yeah, we're going to have to replace the leader of that army, I assume. Because the general's being killed entirely. Which is really savage, actually, because I'm pretty sure the leader of that army was really sort of high rank. Unless they killed my veteran, but it looked like he was still in the army. We'll find out, I'm sure, in the next turn. I swear, if my satrapies start heading back on themselves, I'm not going to be very happy. And Nahan Navali are attacking me with their agents. Really annoyingly. Probably just a good idea for us to take out all of the guys up north here because they all hate me due to my expansionism anyway. Watching all these stupid Asian actions. <laughs> Subversion. Let's see what else. Search complete. Reorganize military hierarchy. Sabotage. Disruption. Disruption. Duty calls for Avengers vs. Cavalry. So we probably want another one in our house, right? That's probably the best way to do it. I don't think we're going to go for Zayadan Immortals. We're going to go for a guy in Avspa with this chap. Rat Infestation. Let's hire experienced rat catchers again. Just to get rid of those. And the Watchman is still good to go, which is nice. We also need to choose a new technology. So let's head towards expanded tactical exercises, which is the one that's going to give us level 3 armor and weapons. And anywhere where we've built the sort of recruitment areas, we can now upgrade them to level 4, which is fantastic. I'm going to do that at Sisia. Because that's my frontline recruitment area. Right, with Avengers First Cavalry, I think it's time to retreat. <laughs> We're going to have both the watchmen and the executors of the Fire of Great Purpose move towards the border on this turn and I'll have Avengers First Cavalry move into this settlement. We will then make sure that this guy is upgraded. We'll upgrade his martial artist trait and I'll have the heroes among men move towards a bud, I guess, now. Do I want to upgrade these guys? I guess I could. Depends if I'm taking anything, which I don't think I am. We're continuing the siege over here with the first men. What else are we doing? Uh, we'll, we'll just look at things in order. So yeah, heroes among men can just zoom up to the border for now. I might upgrade them if they need to be, but Children of Pani, still heading towards Sicily, that's fine. Um, the First Men, yeah, we already looked at those guys, Executors of Fire Great Purpose. Could go further, 
Okay. So it doesn't look like there's going to be really much going on. I can maybe get to Eretium this turn. Actually, no, I can't. So we're just going to head down that way with the Fury of Erethragna. Uh, Shmini's Commandos, can they hit Octodorus? I think they can. Yep, there's also an army there. So we're going to wipe them out. Going to be a quick order to resolve. And the rays. What could we fill this slot with? Maybe just hit mine for now. And we're going to have the Forgotten Warriors zoom on round towards uh, the capital of Gallic Rome. Okay. With that battle complete, our general has leveled up. I think uh, Slaughter Lord increase is probably a good idea. That increases charge bonus and melee attack skill for all units in the army. Which is pretty nice for an army with cataphracts. Charge bonus now 83 on those Griv Pambar. Not a massive fan of uh, the Forgotten Warriors now. They definitely need an upgrade at some point. And uh, is that all of the armies in the in the west dealt with? I think it is. Uh, we do need to continue our recruitment of our navy. So let's maybe go for some Kurdish archers. What's the range on those? They have 150 range. It's the same as the Anatolian slingers, but they have less missile damage. Let's go for the missile penteres, and uh, that'll do. Now, what I'm probably going to do when I need to build up some, like, more navies, is actually build just full armies of like raiding uh, hemio leers with the Persian skirmishes, and that's so I can complete my my objectives. Because to get overall victory, I need 60 naval units. I don't want to have like loads of really elite navies. I only really want one. So what I'm going to do is just make a couple of terrible ones uh, to go with it. Let's have a look at what my agents can do. They, I still have a little bit of cash left, so I can probably spend that on doing some stuff here. I think I need to have my agents hit their agents, so... Come and kill off this one. 72% chance of success with Concealed Blade. I like that. Okay, that's good. I have seen it done. And we'll get rid of this. Assassination. Manipulation. I don't think we have enough cash. No, we don't. At least we got rid of the spy. We'll go for counterintelligence for this turn then. And we may as well have Ndatis move down. If he doesn't spot anything, then we'll put him on to intelligence. That is all. Good. Okay, that's it. Let's move on to the next turn. I forgot to move my other agents. I guess they still do their cultural conversion. They just don't give me the extra cash from the admin... Um, the administration, yeah. Guild maiden going at it again. Makamani really proving to be annoying to take care of. We had like a big battle with them previously. Was that one of my agents there who got killed? I think it might have been Armenia's. Well, at least they didn't target me. That's fine. The most annoying thing about satrapies, guys. 
have to watch their turns all the time. I'm not quite sure where the Bosporo are going with their armies. I'm assuming they're going to attack Gallic Rome, I'm just not quite sure exactly where. Oh nice. Good job. Killing off one of the agents there. I like it. Do it again please. Oh he missed, okay good. Oh here we go. We've got a big battle on our hands. We should be able to win this. Let's go. Let's just jump straight in. I'm happy to have a big battle. We haven't had one yet in this episode, so may as well start somewhere. I'm not sure our infantry is as good as theirs, but we have like a nice open field here. I'm going to go get up in their face. And I'm going to try and kill off the initial army before engaging the second one. Good. Um, Griv Panvar can also on one side. It's annoying that they're a bit depleted on unit numbers, but oh well. Uh, my elephants can go on the flank there. Okay, that's fine. Start the battle. Uh, where are they? Let's have a look. Okay, they are just sitting where they are. Um, it looks like reinforcements coming in from the left side. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Oh no, they're coming in behind them. Let me just pause it, guys. I'm going to put these into a formation group and we're going to advance on the initial force. Doing take out their cavalry. Mercenary Germanic Mounted War Band. Should be able to relatively easily, actually. I just get it sped up a bit. Not much is happening, and yeah, I'm gonna have my archers come and just annihilate these mercenary Germanic mounted war band. Get rid of any cavalry force they may have. That'd be a good start. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Orders, my lord. Our orders. Orders, my lord. Right, they're yeah, pretty much dead. That's what I like. Okay, uh, I might just have the Dalamites run in there and finish them off. Put one more volley into them. Oh, they dodged it. Of course they did. Right. Let's grab my infantry. I'll put them into a separate group. Formation group. And uh, we'll charge. Uh, my archers can hit their Germanic hunters. Good. Okay. Now it's time to engage on this side. Get our cavalry into their cavalry. I might do it like so. Good. So that's our left flank secure. Right flank pretty much secure. And then we're just going to hit the Germanic nobles. Pepper them with our arrows, I guess. Archers! Right, let's have my javelins move forward here. Alright, their cavalry is dead. Disengage! Pull back! Awaiting orders! Awaiting orders! Get out of there. Ooh, I'm not sure what our horse archers are doing, but we have there we go. The enemy's hidden units. We crushed their cavalry on the left side. Good. We are at your command! What are your 
your orders. Archers! We await your orders. Act ready. I'm gonna have my Dalamites here charge into the back of that engagement. Javelin men! At the ready! Javelin men! Oh, we've done a lot of damage to the Germanic nobles. That's nice. Elephants! The elephants are good to go. We are at your command. Elephants ready for battle! Not quite sure how I wanna do this. Might just sort of Go to the far left and charge into like units one by one. Orders. Our general is under attack. Javelin men. Don't stop As these guys from skirmishing in. Prepare on the enemy. Orders. We want to kill off those Germanic hurlers if we can. What are your orders, Javelin? The men are wavering. Javelin men! Okay, looks like we're under attack here. So let's just... Oh, we don't want to charge into pikes. So that's a bad idea. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Cavalry! Awaiting orders! Elephants! Spear levy. They took the wrong fight. Holy shit. As you say. Right. Um, well, we killed off some Germanic Hurlers there. Let's kill off some more. Uh, we want to sort of focus on their leader here, I think. These guys have all run out of ammunition. Okay. I was wondering where those Dynamite Cab went. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Well, I'm just trying to get rid of all of their archers and stuff here. Let's just run them all down. Don't want these pikes to catch up to us. Let's break off. The enemy general is dead. Hey, good. So it's time for my elephants to come into the back of this engagement here. The big old clump. Fortunately, the Dalamite's actually holding relatively well. I might just throw my Persian skirmishes into the mix. Right. Time to charge down some of these dudes. Oh shit. Oh god, Cav, get out of there. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that was savage. Uh, okay. Yep. Avoid Avoid the elephants, guys. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was uh, not, not what I was hoping for. But uh, there we go. Hopefully we can get them under control soon. They're good. Here we go. Right, we'll get the trample going. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Fear. War cry. Tim Day. Yes, elephants. Crush them. Right now it's time to just charge back into these dudes. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And we need to come charge into the back of these dudes. Okay. Not too bad. These elephants are just so damn strong. Holy shit. The battle is turning in our favor. We don't necessarily want to charge into pikes, but I guess if we can get them from both sides, it doesn't matter. mana. Quickly now! Charge, my lord! Engage! Okay, they shattered anyway. Victory. Uh, let's just continue running down. Follow me quickly now! Mission archers! 
One of our units has used all its ammunition. Good. the Germanic Spearman there with elephants. <laughs> I love it. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, well that's it then. We will quit the battle there for a costly victory. What a crazy battle that was. Six hundred and sixty four kills for the elephants, guys. <laughs> These things are so damn good. Two armies of the Vandalite dealt with, and that's going to be them destroyed next turn, I assume, since we do have another army here that can move on to Arsenium. Uh, assuming he can still move, I think he can. Uh, let's again enslave. Nice. That's the end of the turn, and the end of the episodes, guys. Because, unfortunately, it has been my time. For some reason, there is a high chance of secession. Uh, I don't think I've been keeping up with my politics recently. Uh, but it seems as though the house of Asfabad Palav doesn't like me very much. So I'm just going to secure the loyalty before I forget. And hopefully, uh, the risk of secession won't, uh, won't be too high very soon. Um... We'll have to keep an eye on that. But in the meantime, guys, that has been my time. I am going to have to leave it here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.